We're going to give you some rapid <clears> fire <throat> questions. So there's no right or wrong answer. Just whatever comes to your head. Some are golf related, some aren't. So okay. you ready? All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. So do you, when you putt, do you putt with a line on the ball or do you just like, just like, do you set it or like, does your dad set it? Like, how do you, how does that whole process go? Or do you just like, just clean it off? No again? line. No yeah, line. no line. Okay. Um, my dad will just line me with my putter. Mm-hmm. with like the little dots on the putter. Yeah. Can your dad help me line up for, for putting? Because my putting is atrocious <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> I need help. You yeah, know, I'll ask him. All right, cool. He's a busy man. I'll ask him. <laughs> <laughs> one one side question off of that. How how we were talking about it before, that's gotta be the toughest thing is like yeah. putting and chipping and knowing that pace and how hard to hit it just beyond the line. Yeah. How, how does that um, process kind of work, I guess? Chipping's one of the hardest ones. I get really bad anxiety from when, right when I hit the ball, um, I like turn back to whoever's guiding me and I'm like, where'd it go, where'd it go? Because Mm -hmm. it's so hard to judge distance and I don't have any depth perception. So that makes it even harder and you can't just, it's definitely what you said, it's based on feel and Mm -hmm. um, not knowing how far it is and how far your shot is actually going. Very difficult. With putting, I have been training for like the last like three years to know um well it's different for every green but i have a system where i walk off putts for my okay. for my steps because i have smaller legs um and so i'll like i'll know how far to hit a five step putt or a 10 paced putt or you know whatever that is but it's definitely hard and it don't always get it right <laughs> a lot of the time i don't always get it right <laughs> <laughs> no it's cool we we had extensive conversations about this but we we're like we were so excited to ask you because we we're like we have no clue yeah that sounds so so no yeah you're good. yeah no putting it's been the hardest part but it's also the reason that i've had to practice it the most because it's like the one thing that you could screw up on so easily because you only hit like one drive every hole but you could do like three putts yeah it's so it's important to practice <laughs> All right, yeah. so the next question, uh, what TV or movie character do you most relate to? Oh, okay, that, okay. Um, this question always gets oh people. It always God. gets people, but you're taking it serious. <laughs> if they're like, I like this. Oh, my God, no, because I love TV shows. Like, because I have, um, it's on me, it's on my desk right now. I have, like, a huge monitor, so I'm able to, like, watch shows, which is mm-hmm. nice to do. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Okay, Star Wars just coming to my head because I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Um, okay, same. Cool. Like my favorite character is Ahsoka. Like that's my favorite character. I don't relate yeah. to her in any way besides just our age. Um, and you guys are total badasses, so that works out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. you. <laughs> yeah, no, it's. <laughs> um. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna say either Padme or Leia, and it's. Cause there's so many sh- there's so many shows and I watch like a lot of anime too, so it's like I have so many people that I. <laughs> but relating to is different because you can like so many characters. Oh, okay, I'm gonna sure. say Padme Amidala, okay. um, because I feel like she was very young and had to be like ruling a planet. Like that's not an easy task, and I feel like having the responsibility that I've been given. I mean, I wasn't as young as she was, but you know, the responsibility to grow this game and to be that person for people, for other Mm -hmm. blind individuals out there is, it's definitely a task. (laughs) Just like Pat, that was a very diplomatic answer. Good job. This is, (laughs) because of the timing of this, that was the most in-depth answer. The most in-depth. The one that's coming before this, Anthony Durso, (laughs) we had a great interview. He chose Cookie mm-hmm. Monster. He just chose Cookie Monster. Because his wife's a baker. <laughs> <laughs> but you gave the most in-depth yeah. thing. <laughs> Good job. That was great. Killed That's what, so um, funny. No, I actually... Little sidebar, what, what's, what's your top like two animes right now? Okay, I'm watching One Piece. That's okay. probably my favorite right now. Heck yeah. Um, yeah. And then I'm like on episode like 209 only. And so oh, yeah. Like, you got like 1,500 more so episodes to go. Your sister. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but another one, I would say I love Fruits Basket. It's like more of like a yep. slice of life kind of anime. Yeah. Really sweet. Okay. And everyone complains about it because the main character cries a lot, but like, there's a reason to cry. 
like a lot of the time, you know. Heck yeah, I'm a big anime guy. I have um, a sleeve that I'm getting done. Really? Obviously, you can't. Yeah, but I'm getting a whole. Oh shirt. no! Wait, wait! I can. Yeah, I can. Oh, that is sick. Yeah, oh, there's God. that, and then I got Goku What's... on this side. Oh, nice. Yeah. What's so your I, I got a whole. Anime? Mine's probably Attack on Titan. Um, Ooh, is my yes. favorite, and then Jujutsu Kaisen is probably my other favorite one. Yeah. So TJ has no clue ending what I'm of season. About right now. Yeah. <laughs> the season the ending of season four was not what i expected i uh, know kind of dude sad. we could have a whole other podcast over that don't even, don't yeah. even run yeah no, um all right now yeah. i have another putting <laughs> question for you uh do you putt mm-hmm. with a blade or a mallet putter um mallet i think it is a mallet i have the jailbird i think something nice. jailbird nice yeah yeah but yeah cool i think it's a mallet <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have one of the many gel birds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, do you have yeah. a go-to golf ball, a certain brand or model that you just like the feel of? Uh, yeah, I have a um, Titleist Pro V1 or Pro V1. I stopped using the X for some reason. My dad stopped me. Uh, I did that, <laughs> and I actually put um, my number. I customize all of mine, so they have oh. Titleist sixty six. For order sixty six. Order sixty six. And nice. then I put nice. Let's go. And then I put the name Skywalker on the side. Okay. Yeah. Heck yeah. It's kind of like, you know, a little nice touch to my game. Because I also have a stormtrooper head cover for my driver. Oh, nice. And I've had that. That thing is worn out. I can't even imagine. Like, there's so many rips in that. I'm about to order the. Uh, there's a Chewbacca one I saw. So I'm about to order that one actually. Really? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I saw that. Um, all right, last one. So if you weren't golfing mm-hmm. and like, if you weren't golfing, what else would you be doing with your life? So if you weren't even going to go for like communications, what's like your overall dream oh. that you'd be doing? Um, oh, okay. I feel like I would be like either cause I, my other sport that I did as a kid, bef- like before I really took on golf was I was in karate, and so I feel like I'd be, like, some sort of, like, you know, fighting or not MMA, per se, because that's a bit rough, but, like, um, my cousin's been teaching me Muay Thai, so I really enjoy just, like, you know, boxing and that kind of stuff, so I feel like I'd want to, like, travel the world to learn different martial arts, and being from Hawaii, like, everyone take has taken, like, karate or some sort of you know, martial art as a kid. Yeah. So I feel like cool. I'd do that. Or, I don't answer. know, I'd like either that, yeah. do that or go into medicine, my original plan. Um, my original plan was to be a PT. So, but that didn't work because <laughs> it's very hard. It's very um, time, can, like, time. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. It's a good answer, but, though, either way. Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> But awesome. no, I don't even know what I else I'd be doing. <laughs> cool. Well, we really appreciate you taking the time to come on with us. Real quick, give everybody just yeah, where they can find you. you on social media or you know, find more about adaptive golf and stuff like that. Yeah, my Instagram handle is Amanda Kuna14. Um, and then for more on adaptive golf, the University of Arizona's um F- adaptive athletics website you're able to contact my our athletic director through that if you're a high school student and if you're looking into going trying to play in adaptive golf there are adaptive clinics that happen all over the country and there should there's definitely a lot of in adaptive golf tournaments in arizona so if you're around the area check that out Awesome. Well, we appreciate your time and thanks for uh, joining us. And uh, thank you, guys. Yeah, thank best you, guys, of luck to so you much. Forward. And yeah, best of thank luck. Thank you. Of course. Awesome. It was great being here. Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.